Well, I still got it. Still out there, working hard, still out there, taking down tents today. Here, I'm a one-man team taking down this duo of 20 by 20s. But today, we'll be talking about a philosophy that I really uh, continued on into this season. Hey, guys. So we are back at the event warehouse. Uh, wow. It's been a busy summer. I just wanted to talk to you about a philosophy that we utilized this summer. And I really think it helped us grow. I mean, it's hard to say because we don't know if that's really the philosophy or if it just was a busier summer or a combination of the two. But I felt good about it. And that is to be a yes man or to be a yes business or a yes gal if you're a lady in the industry. So by that I mean... If a customer asks for something that you would normally say, and then you have to be on the fence on it to begin with. Obviously, if they're asking for a potato salad, you're not in the restaurant business. You're not going to give them a potato salad. But, but, but a lot of the times they might ask for something like, and this happens to about like 10% of clients, right? They might ask for, oh, I want a tent way out for four hours away. Most people, like the go-to is just to be taken aback and say, no, you know what? That's too far. We'll, we'll pass on this job. Thanks so much. We'll pass on this job. I recommend uh, company B, C, D. Okay. But no, instead of doing that, we would say, you know what? Yes, we're happy to do that job. Here is the price. And the kind of a, the, the caveat of that is that we would price higher and we would price significantly higher so that we're very comfortable doing that job that we would normally kind of be taken aback um, from. You know, we'd be like, oh, this job, ooh, I don't know if it's for me. No, we would just price much higher, not insanely higher, so we would not for sure get the job, but just significantly and comfortably higher. And what that did, I feel like, was significantly increased our profit margins. And it, um, it got us more work to begin with. And it told... Um, a handful of people that hopefully kind of spread it throughout the universe and not to be too philosophical, but you know, it, it kind of the word spread that, Hey, these guys, <clears throat> these guys will get it done if you need it. I mean, they might charge you properly, appropriately or comfortably for it, but these guys are going to make it happen. And so looking back at it, things have now kind of settled down a bit. I'm very happy about that philosophy. Um, I'm excited to push that philosophy um, next year as well and see where it goes. But that was a big... Now, it wasn't the only philosophy we utilized. We did a lot of different things. But I really liked that one. I thought that one was kind of neat. I had a rich guy. I was um, helping build a house. I mean, I was just a helper. Um, and a long time ago, like this was when I was still in high school. And the property owner there, he, he had a, like, he was always on site. Um, and he had a kind of a liking for me, you know? And he said to me, you know how I um, became successful? And I said, how? He said, you know what? I never said no to work. I just priced it higher. And it all comes from that guy. It's not an original idea. I took that philosophy from that gentleman. Um, he actually passed away since a couple years back. But I took that philosophy from him um, and utilized it in my business. So that's the philosophy we used, among others, for this year. And I think it really helped us kind of grow further than we would normally and naturally grow. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you utilize something like that. Um, you know, an example was we actually did a Northwest Territories job. And up in Canada, that's a territory. Okay, there's provinces and territories, like states in the USA. Um, here there are provinces and territories. The territories are typically kind of further north. And Northwest Territories is way up there. It's essentially past, um, it's around the Arctic Circle, you know, in and around the Arctic Circle. So 24-hour sunlight or 24-hour darkness in the wintertime, respectively. So um, we did a job way up there. It was a 24-hour 
car ride. And I mean, this company said, hey, we called 15 people and everybody said no. And we said yes. And so we charged $15,000 to get up there. And it's going to be a video about this all together uh, uh, separately as well. And I mean, it was, I think we only, what was it? Like 1650 in expenses or something like that. 1650 so it was a it was very profitable for us. Now, of course, there's some wear and tear on the vehicle because we drove up there in the uh, high top transit uh, van. So there's definitely some wear and tear, but it was certainly well worth it. I mean, it was a big payout for a small tent. It was a 20 by 40 marquee tent. So it's times like that, that I was kind of really proud of that philosophy. And it was exciting too, because it took us to places we would never normally go. Anyways, guys, take it easy. We'll talk to you soon. And uh, let's get some business done.